So for the developers, it's about low level security. So you can, for example, if you have some certain registers that you need to protect, then you can use the T for that. So for them, it's a little bit different compared to the business side, since it's more about tweaking the system as such and doing things that you should not be able to do from an unsecure or non-secure environment. When you're developing for a T, the device uh, and environment is still the same, so it's T-based code and so on. But you have uh, several architectural layers, so you start to run everything in what we call normal world user space, and then you go, go down to Linux kernel, and then you jump over to the secure side, where you have two different layer faults. You have the secure kernel, and you have the user mode applications. So having that said, it's in some sense a bit more complicated, since you can't just focus on one tiny bit. And another thing is also that you could have um, resource constraints. I mean, uh, memory and so on, you don't have as much memory as you want to if you would like to run it in a protected way. Yeah, the speed as such, I mean, how fast you can type, that is actually not that important. But the thing here is about reduce the turnaround time. There could be devices, for example, where you need to plug USB cables, you need to flash an MMC, and it could take quite a lot of time just from what you have written to you want to test it. So with the, the, the thing we are going to show now in the workshop is that you're doing all, all your work locally, and it's very rapid. I mean, the turnaround time, we're talking about maybe 15 to 20 seconds. From that, you compile the application to actually run it. Previously, when you didn't have a T, then the most secure place you had was the uh, kernel itself, regardless if it was Linux or Windows or whatever. With the T, you have a hardware-assisted uh, device, which is tamper-proof, and you can store credentials, uh, username, passwords, and traditionally it's been used for boot binaries, so when you're booting up, you have the secure environment where you can store the the signatures and you can read and protect it. So with no hardware, then there are a few things you need to be aware of. And that's like timings and such could be a bit different since this is an emulator environment. Uh, you also have uh, peripheral support, which could be a bit limited on a device. It has quite a few devices supported today, but there are devices that aren't supported. Another thing that uh, could be a bit different also is low-level CPU support. So you don't have everything supported there as you have on a regular device and chip.